The controversy continues to build up by the day, and gradually it is fast opening up a new chapter on security of lives and the unity of Nigeria. It all started with accusations and then counter accusations between the Nigerian army and members of the indigenous people of Biafra over an alleged invasion on the compound of the IPOB leader, Namdi Kanu. I want you to report this accurately and stop relying on the lies of the Nigerian military. The army claim it's on a routine exercise, codenamed Operation Python Dance, and denied knowledge of attacking IPOB members. Some chaps, if I will use that, who we are later identified to be IPOB members, came to, I mean, block the road and said they shouldn't pass. How? And they denied the masses, and it was peaceful, and they started throwing stones at them. Missiles, I mean, when I mean missiles, stones and things that are hard objects, to the extent of, you know, injuring a soldier on his head, and then they pass out by one lady. The group, which has since been at the forefront of agitations, disagrees with the army's claims, insisting their rights have been infringed on. They drove from that way with their blaring sirens that woke me up from my siesta I was having in the afternoon, and they went that way to that junction. They reversed, the ammo tank reversed and came back here, they wanted to come in, and my men stopped them here, and they started firing at people. Right at this very spot. And since Sunday's show of force by the military and a revolt by the iPod members, the dialogue has changed with new pages opening day after day, leaving many Nigerians to wonder if indeed there would be an end to the revolt and supremacy of power.